that ball over the hands of the goalkeeper and goes in for the equalizer. 1-1 one, one between Busog and Gaddafi. Powerful finish. In 2012, Dana Nyago etched her name in history as she became the first woman to own a football club in the country. With a focus on continuity, Nyago aimed to provide her students from Ginger SS with the opportunities to pursue their football career. I said I entered um, the sporting field with a view to putting right the school that I had come to head. That was way back in 2008 when I entered Jinjeses as a head teacher. I think Jinjeses was one of the no-go areas in terms of discipline. Uh, so I looked for how I would do restore discipline in the learners. And I said I would use sports, I would use games because uh, world over, people love sports, they love games. And uh, I specifically singled out football, took it to another level, uh, because I realized that football is loved by the young, the old, the women, the men. Why? Uh, the, the European League, uh, when these clubs are playing, everybody wants to identify themselves with a Man U fan, a Man City, a Liverpool, a Maceno, and that kind of thing. So I said, ah, but I can start my own club. And then I will have my own students being proud of it. And maybe that will draw them closer to the school. And I succeeded. Nyago expresses pride in being the first woman to own a football club in the start time in Uganda Premier League. I don't want to sound like I'm blowing my own trumpet. But every time we have um, a Uganda Premier League club chairman's meeting, I am the only lady and i want to say i have never disappointed i rise up to the occasion i realize that i am the only woman among men and so i must defend my gender and at times when you ask them they would say that i talk a lot <laughs> But I always have excuse to talk a lot because I see be, uh, being the only woman and now me I want to say this because the rest of you are men and uh, I take advantage of that. Uh, not really that I have ever felt out of place, no. And they have been so cooperative. And I have really felt at home working uh, with them. Uh, so I feel great. I feel uh, pampered by them. I feel protected. I feel loved. Running a football club demands investment, time, and annual value and commitment. The biggest challenge uh, with the football, and especially at this level, including even the lower levels anyway, is that it's very expensive. Football is not expensive only in money terms, but it's expensive in all round resources. Be it time, you need to give it time, even when you are a club chairman like I am, even when you are a club owner like I am. It's not enough for you to have money as a resource and put it into the club and expect the players to play. No! If that was the case, there are very loaded clubs that would be doing very well, but they are not. Why? There is the aspect of time for the players and the time for the club. Nyago urges women to pursue their dreams tirelessly if they aspire to make a significant impact in the society. As a woman, individually, where you are as a woman, what is it that you think is worth celebrating in women? And it begins with me, it begins with you as an individual. If you ask me as Nyago, I will tell you I have a lot to celebrate. I think I have achieved, um, especially in areas that were traditionally predominantly men's reserve, where women were not going. It was a no-go area for women, for example, to be in football. Football traditionally was played by men, but I was able to start a football club and brought it up up to the Uganda Premier League and sustained it there up to now when it has been in the league coming to 
nine straight years. To some other clubs which are run by men, I see them being relegated, they go back, they come up, they, and they are run by men. So I think uh, well, we need to believe in ourselves, that we can do what men can do, and even do it better, like I have proved to you that uh, even as a head teacher at Jinja SS, which had been headed by men only, when I went there, it was in a turmoil. I was able to stabilize it, and I was able to do better than, or maybe I, 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 I competed with my predecessors who were men. You could in football, I think I've been able to achieve up to the level of other men. Or I mean of men, and maybe I have even done better than them because like I have said, me, I have sustained my club single-handedly in the Uganda Premier League for nine seasons. There are some men who have not managed to do that. So I want every woman to look back and do a self-evaluation and say as we celebrate today, what is it that I have achieved as a woman that is worth celebrating?